Chris, restoration crews continue to work around the clock to repair water damage following this weekend's rain and flooding. Waves 3 News reporter Sedra Mayfield spoke with a few crews out there. She joins us live from Whispering Hills neighborhood. That's in Highview. And Sedra, I imagine there's a lot of calls out there for sump pump repairs right now. Yeah, some pumps are common here in Louisville because of the high water table, but after this weekend's heavy rains, some of those sump pumps stalled, leading to flooding in basements. Now, I caught up with two local contractors who tell me on average a sump pump should last you about three years, but they say they often fail, get this, because of human error. We're talking everything from forgetting to plug the sump pump into a designated outlet to stacking items on top of it, keeping it from functioning properly. And when it comes to stopping sump pump failure, contractors say you are are the first line of defense. Twice a year, going down, putting some water in it, make, checking, the fi checking the valve, the float, make sure the float switches function correctly, dump five or ten gallons of water in there, make sure it's pumping out well. Uh, that way you can rest easy. When, when the rains do come, you know it's going to function the way it's supposed to. Coming up on Wave 3 News at 6 o'clock, why when it comes to some pumps, contractors say you get what you pay for and how a local manufacturer is working to ensure quality. That's ahead for now. We're live from the Whispering Hills neighborhood, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News. Thanks, Cedra. They were working overtime.